And so, the man of the hour, a man that needs no introduction, founder of F50 and community builder of Physical AI Builders, David Powell. Thank you, man. I want to welcome all of you to our first Physical AI Summit in Austin, Texas. Thank you all. I'm so grateful for all the support from our community partners and the sponsors, particularly all our speakers' participation in such a short notice. So my story starts with three stories towards physical AI. 17 years ago, in Silicon Valley, I become organizer of a small group called the Silicon Valley Android Developers Group. Later on, this group becomes one of the most active developer group in Silicon Valley, sponsored by Google, Samsung, T-Mobile, and all the big corporate in the Android ecosystem. And it hosted the very first, world's first hackathon for Android, HTML5, Chrome, Google Watch, Android, World. You can name it a long, long list of developer activities in Silicon Valley. <laughs> so as of today, it has become the physical AI builders group from Silicon Valley, online, and Austin, Texas, with over 20,000 legacy members on Meetup and LinkedIn. This group, this community, want to be the center to support the physical AI innovation for developers, entrepreneurs, investors, builders, etc. So, this picture, I spent one and a half years to draw this picture. Uh, there's a long story behind it on my YouTube channel as well. So, I visited to Monterey about one and a half years ago, and before I and my visit, I met uh, Glenn Hammer uh, about nearly two years ago. And I was always thinking the question, what's the relationship between Monterey and, uh, and Texas? So here's the story, the North American manufacturing product. With Texas the leading infrastructure manufacturing and the supply chain from Mexico, which set up the base to enable America to be the leader for physical AI for the next 10, 18, or maybe longer years. So again, my portal uh, YouTube video is on YouTube as well as on LinkedIn as well. And we published the Future 50 report for top AI invest investors, entrepreneurs, startups, and uh, laboratories, as well as manufacturers to recognize their effort in physical AI. We'll continue the more effort future data reports for our future innovators next few years. And the effort continues. October 27 and October 31st, we are happy to host our second valley physical AI summit at a newly opened second valley AI hub sponsored by Snowflake in Silicon Valley. So this event, we're expecting about six, seven hundred people in Silicon Valley to join this uh, event. We already announced a long list of tier one investors and celebrities join this event in Silicon Valley. And uh, if some of you can make it, I hope you see you there. So now I want to invite all of you to join our effort, since this is a basic AI event. I assume you enjoy some aspect of this guy. So join us on LinkedIn. We have a couple groups uh, on LinkedIn and follow our LinkedIn page. As of today, we have about 400,000 impressions on LinkedIn for all our speaker and content posts uh, last few months. We are shooting for many more, uh, two million impressions on LinkedIn. We hope with your support we can do more. So join us on LinkedIn. Our type is FAP Summit or Physical AI Summit. And uh, we'll, um, comments, we share our LinkedIn post and in the up and interact with our speakers as well. Last, this is just the beginning. 
I want to invite all of you to join us on our Facebook AI Summit on 2026, March 10th. It's already announced on LinkedIn, it will be the global announcement zone, uh, a part of our innovation next year. Thank you all. Uh, next, I'd like to have the honor to introduce a very special speaker. He actually gave me feedback a couple of times. <clears throat> For this picture, this is my probably third version. You might saw the first version like one and a half years ago. I shared a couple of my friends asking, is this real something in the world? So, uh, he is the man who behind the lots of initiatives of politics to make uh, Texas more friendly in the business. As many of you know that right now one of the challenges for AI spaces is that there's more regulations in other regions, including other states or other uh, countries. So Texas is the place, not, not only because of manufacturing infrastructure support from, uh, and supply chain from Mexico, but also because Texas is friendly to physical uh, in, regula in regulations and many other aspects. 